Okay, for assignment one, what you want to do is start with a brand new fresh file. So just go to file and click new up top here. And then do I want to save changes? No, I do not. And you want to scroll down to small objects inches. As I showed you before, we were at millimeters, which would have been this, or maybe uh, large objects millimeters. But in any case, we want small objects inches for our assignment. So click this, click open, and here we go. It's just a brand new file, and you'll see at the very bottom it says inches. See that right there? Okay, um, and you'll see you have a set of layers here. Really what you want to do is just kind of delete these for the, the sake of the assignment, just to show you how to delete them and how to create new layers. So if you select these and just click on the delete key on your keyboard, you can delete them. I can control Z, reselect them, and click this delete button up here. It does the same exact thing, okay? So go ahead and do that. Next, you want to click the new layer up here, and you'll click new layer. And I'm just going to call this one. Do it again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then finally 10. Okay. And the next thing you want to do is change the colors of each one of these layers. So you understand when you see them, what they look like. So I'm going to pull this out a little bit. Okay. And then we don't need material. I don't want to focus on that. Uh, the ones we are going to focus on is print color and line type. Uh, we'll keep continuous. There should be another one, which is line weights or print width, I should say right here. And we are going to adjust these. Okay. So print colors, we're going to keep all black. Uh, color visual, these are our visual colors here, as I showed you before, and the kind of main user interface tutorial. Um, and then this is our print width. Okay, so before we start anything, what we want to do is we want to create a new layout. And the way you could do that is come up here and type layout. And you can call this, uh, you can keep it page one, that's totally fine. Custom, and we don't make this 24 by 24 inches. You want to be sure you're at custom and you want to click Rhino PDF, um, and then just click OK. And you'll notice that you have this 24 by 24 inch page. It is page one here. When you come up to perspective, you can see that it has the four views that we're used to and come up to page one and you come to this layout print view. So if you go ahead and click a line, let's just go type line and you create a line like this. You'll notice that this is in page kind of print space and not actually in the world space. There's that line doesn't exist here. But if I came in here and I drew a line in this world space, click enter, you'll notice that it is actually here. Now you can select this, but you cannot select this. Uh, you need to actually enter the space by double clicking into here. And you'll see it got activated. So if you want to know the bounding lines, you could just simply create a rectangle like I'm doing here. Draw a line from here to here. Okay, click enter. And then that should be correct. So anything I draw after this, let's just say I draw a rectangle from here to here. And I go to page one, it should be covered. So that's how you uh, know where you're working in your bounding box. Sorry if that was a bit confusing. With that said, the next thing we'll do, we'll kind of come in here, go ahead and delete that and uh, delete this. And we'll just draw um, a few lines. You're going to want to make a grid. So I'm going to start with this main grid over here. I snap to this grid. Uh, oh, I kind of messed this up. It's totally fine. Come up here and just kind of readjust that rectangle. And we'll go ahead and put this rectangle on the default layer. It already is. That's totally fine. And we'll probably just not print that layer. Just turn it off because we don't need that line. So it's not perfect, but we'll keep it something like this. Again, this bounding edge is just the margin. Uh, for printing purposes, there's usually a margin. So anyway, so if I wanted to copy this over, I'll go ahead and I'll copy this. Click copy right here and I'll snap the grid like this and you'll create your own grid but I'm just kind of for the purpose of the tutorial I'm creating a really quick one and you will go ahead and do that and then you can go ahead and copy because it's grid snapped it knows where to snap to the next grid point and it's orthographic so it just comes straight down so really really easy and go back to perspective you could see that that grid exists just like this okay go back to page one layout mode and if you double click you'll see that uh, you're out of the you know, world space and you're back into page space, but if you double click back in and you're back into that world space, the modeling space. Okay, so what we wanna do is set uh, the different visualizations for each layer. So we'll go ahead and click this, and this probably should be 10 lines, but I'm just gonna, for the purpose of the tutorial, just show you how it's done real quickly. Um, go ahead and set this to red, set this to, I don't know, just gonna click some stuff here. Okay, so each one of these are set to their own layer. The way I like to do it is I'll just select all of these and I'll go ahead and say, okay, this is now going to be layer one. Change object layer, changes those selected lines to that layer. Now, another way you could have done this is you could have just created a line. Check this and then line 
and you'll see that it automatically goes to that line color. It creates the line in that layer as I showed before, but I like to keep things in default and then just move things as I need them. So the next thing I'll do is I'll grab everything but the top line, change it to the next layer. So go to change, don't copy objects layer. That's the scary thing where if you do that, then you have multiple lines on top of each other. You do not want to do that. So you want to be careful uh, or do things one by one and, and change them rather than copy object layers. But you want to make sure you're doing change object layers. Okay, so then you're going to go to the next one and then the next set. Now I'll do the same thing up here. I'll make everything A tier. What you're going to do is you're going to create a grid of the same width, but I just wanted to show you uh, what this kind of looks like. So the next thing you want to do, so if you go to, uh, let's get out of this and go to the print mode, you'll see there are different colors. And so if we come here and change, again, you got to scroll out slightly. Print width, I don't know what that is. We'll just move that over. Uh, print width, you'll see everything uh, is set to default. We'll just go up here and change this to 2. And you can pick whatever you want. I'm just going to select some random ones here. So I selected those line weights. And if you go to paper space, uh, you might notice that some of the line weights are... Actually, you won't notice anything's changed because you need to turn that line weight setting on, actually. So you want to come up to the command bar right here. And you want to go ahead and type print display. So print display. And you want to go to the state where it equals off. You want to turn that to on. Okay. And so that's set to on now. And what you've noticed is the line weights are actually different, especially when you zoom in. You'll so notice that they're slightly different. Some are thinner, some are thicker. Now, what you want to do for assignment one is two things. You're going to create one version of grids with different line weights to create a gradient. Um, and then you're going to create a set of patterns to uh, create a layered gradient of some sort. Now, the pattern will be a specific pattern we'll talk about in class. But for the grid, it's pretty straightforward. What you want to do here, for example, select, go into the kind of model space, double click, and select all of these. Oh, whoops, I got to escape this command. Uh, now I can go ahead in here. I'm going to change all these to um, this layer. Make sure you select this. Go change object layer. Okay, and I'm going to change the color actually to black so you can see this very clearly. And then double click. You'll notice that they're very, very thick. Double click back in here. I'm going to go ahead and I will copy this and I will move it over slightly. Um, actually, I'm going to turn off my ortho for a second here by coming here. Anyway, I'm just kind of moving the grid down this way. You might need to expand the lines up. So to do that, I'll click that box. Remember that box I selected before? It's right here. And I will go ahead. Uh, actually, I'll do this in the perspective mode. Or sorry, not perspective, in the kind of top view mode. Uh, if you click, if you type command extend, right, like this, and then you click the lines that aren't reaching this boundary box that I've selected, they automatically kind of grow, okay? So we can do that to expand our grid. Now, I do want to note that I made a mistake here. So if I go to page one, because these are a copy, they're all the same layer. So if I turn this layer off, let's go back here, and I turn this layer off, um, you'll see that everything gets turned off. It gets kind of hard to select uh, what I just created. I mean, I guess I could select every other one. So I'm going to go ahead and undo this whole process. Oops, just going to undo these things. Okay, just like this. Um, we'll change this back to black. And so what I'll do is double click in here, and I will select all of these. Back in here, double select all of these. Um, B. And I will move this down here. Now, you'll notice that when I copied it and I clicked escape, uh, I can't duplicate another one, but you'll see what's selected right now is the first grid. So I'm just going to go ahead and select these and I'm going to change them. Um, I'm going to change it to this layer, layer two. So I'll go ahead and change object layer. So what ends up happening now is you'll see that they're two different layers and I can turn them on and turn them off and control them. So um, otherwise you could just kind of select each one of the grids by clicking shift and then moving them to the layer that you need. Uh, but I find that method that I just showed you to be easier. So if you go to page one, uh, sorry, if you double click out of this, you'll notice that they're different sizes. Now, you do want to extend these out, ideally. Um, if you want to make a clean square, or I guess in this case it's a square, go to perspective. Again, do the command I said. So you click extend. There you go. Just do it one by one. And then same way you could just trim everything that's going beyond. Just type trim. And then you need an object selected. I already selected it before I type trim, so it knew what I wanted the, the bounding box was. So just hover over all these, over all these, 
and this line is actually the XYZ um, line. It's not actually there. Okay, and then just go back to page one. And if we turn off default, you will not see that rectangle. Um, I learned something. The default's controlling the actual layout. This thing right here, um, if I move that to, let's say, a new layer, change object layer, I believe we can turn this off. Yeah, and, and that fixes it. Um, what, what that's really doing is that this is this line right here is the display that's porting you to the actual uh, world space. So if it was actually on default, and so you had to move it to a different layer. So I'll just call this, um, you know, viewport layer. So you know what it is, okay? So if you hide this, everything in that viewport layer actually disappears. Okay, so a good thing that we learned how to do that. So this is two of the four grids you'd need, and you'd want to make each grid uh, set its own, um, you know, on its own layer. So you have this kind of gradient of different layer width. Uh, the colors you're seeing are actually um, coming out. Uh, you'll see where is it? They look like they're coming out in different colors, and we kind of want them to be printed all. So this thing right here is a print color, and what's happening is they're, they're matching the display colors, and we don't want that. So that's a problem too. So you just want to come in here and just make sure everything is black and not these different colors, and that will be the last thing you need to do uh, once you have your four sets of grids. Pretty much how you go about doing it. All right, that's it.